Welcome to another tutorial. This video is for all of you trying to migrate your customer data over to Booking Koala from another service software. Not just customer data, but also including the payment method. This is the hang up. This is where people get hung up. So if that's you, then this video is for you. Migrating customer data can be difficult and it is very tedious in nature. And honestly, it prevents a lot of people from moving over to a different software platform, even if that platform is going to offer them more perks and more benefits and features, even for a better price, like Booking Koala in most cases, than their previous software. I don't want you to get discouraged though. In this video, we're going to go over exactly how to do that using Stripe. So what do you need to get started with this migration process? First and foremost, obvious, you're going to need a Booking Koala account. You're also going to need an existing Stripe account with access to your customer IDs. Okay. And then lastly, you're going to need a spreadsheet so that we can adjust it, alter it, clean it up the way that we need to so that we can upload it as a CSV file to your Booking Koala account once we're finished. I want to quickly mention that you need an existing Stripe account that you can access. So I don't know if they're still doing it, but as an example, House Call Pro in the past would create more of like a sub account through their main Stripe account for you whenever you sign up to use their software. You can't actually connect your own Stripe account and that's an issue because you can't access that Stripe account and you need to be able to access that Stripe account to get the customer ID so that you can upload this successfully to Booking Koala including your customer's payment information so that you don't have to reach out to them individually and get their credit card details again. So the first thing we're going to do is log into Stripe. So go to stripe.com, log into your dashboard, and then you're going to want to head over to the customers tab. So up at the top, you'll see home, payments, balances, customers, products, and so on. Click on the customers tab. And then what you're going to want to do is pull up that CSV file that you exported from your existing service software like launch 27 for example once you export that csv file upload open it up in excel or google sheets or something like that and find the customer up at the top that you want to go ahead and grab that id for and then search them inside of your stripe account here on the customers tab once you find them click on their uh, click on their name and you'll come to a page that looks like this now obviously i've blurred out information here for confidentiality reasons but the customer ID is going to sit right over here beneath the details. So what you're going to do is click that customer ID. It's going to copy to your clipboard and then you're going to go and paste that over in your Excel file or your Google Sheets. So here we are, we're over in our Google Sheets now. If you are wanting to do the same thing that I'm doing here, utilizing Google Sheets and you have a CSV file downloaded from your previous service software and you want to import it here, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So you're just going to click File, Import, Upload, and then you're going to drag and drop that CSV file here. Replace spreadsheet if it's a brand new spreadsheet, and let's continue. Now your spreadsheet is going to look a little different, especially if you're coming from like Launch 27. They're going to give you a lot of data. You're going to have more than just I rows. Yours is going to stretch out much, much further, and you're going to have a lot of data that you're not going to be importing into Booking Koala. It's really not going to be useful to you. So I would just recommend leaving it in there though. That's totally fine. What I want you to do is to make a column for your Stripe ID. So if you're trying to butt it in somewhere like here, for example, just right mouse click and you can insert a column either one to the left or one to the right. Once you do that, give it a name. I'm just calling this Stripe ID. And then this is where you're going to paste in the customer IDs for each customer. So, and then obviously you're going to have a long list of your customers here that you exported from your last platform and you're just going to go down the list go from one to the next to the next search them in your stripe account make sure you match up the email or phone number this is super important you could have multiple people with the same name john smith john smith john smith and if you match the customer id to the wrong john smith that's going to cause an issue so make sure that you have the right customer id your two Identifiers are going to be right here, phone number and or email. So this is a bit of a tedious process, but you're going to just want to work through this entire list. If you have some help, like a virtual assistant or an office manager, something like that, then this is definitely a task to delegate to them. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. Like I said, it's pretty tedious in nature. If any of you out there know how to download a customer ID report in Stripe, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to know. 
Uh, to my knowledge, there's no way of doing that. I played around with it a little bit. I didn't see anywhere where I could just run a report and get just customer names, phone numbers, emails, and customer IDs, which is what we really need. I couldn't figure out how to do that, but if you figured out, like I said, please leave a comment below and let me know. So again, all we're gonna do is work our way down the list, get all of our IDs, tedious, but hey, once we have it, we're good to go. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to File, if you're in Google Sheets, Download, and then download it as a CSV file, which stands for Comma Separated Values. All right, now that we have that downloaded, you're gonna go over to your Booking Koala account, and we're going to import that file to Booking Koala. To do that, just hover over the Customers tab, don't click Add New, go to Customers instead, and then this is where you're going to import. Now you can see I've already done this import, but if you're gonna do this, all you have to do is click Import, Import Customer, and then choose your file right here. And then once that's chosen, you'll see it populate here, then just click Import. Once you click Import, you'll see your little message pop up here, and then this is where you get to match the fields. Essentially what we're doing is we are connecting our imported fields to the Booking Koala fields. So Booking Koala just is going to allow us to match these up so it knows what data to pull in from our spreadsheet and where exactly to put that data in Booking Koala. It's pretty self-explanatory. First name, we're gonna drag and drop over to first name. Same thing with last name, email, phone, zip postal code, address, and then any other information. The important one down here is Stripe ID. So it's pulling in the headers from our spreadsheet. So we made one called Stripe ID, if you'll remember. So now we can just drag and drop that over to the Stripe ID field and then click import. We get a little sign here saying that it's processing, but it will let us know when it's complete. Oftentimes, if you just give it a quick refresh, it'll be complete, depending on how big your file is. You can see there, we only had one row, so it's already completed. Now let's go find that customer that we just imported, and let's take a closer look. All right, we went over here to customers, customers, and then we clicked on the customer that we just imported. If you'll recall, it's Chuck Norris. And then up here at the top, we see dashboard, which is what it defaults to. You're gonna wanna go to profile to just verify that it pulled in that data correctly. Now, quick stop quick little note here. If you don't have your Stripe account connected down here in the settings, general apps and integrations is where you're going to do this connection. If you don't have your existing Stripe account integrated, you haven't put in the publishable key, the secret key, and uh, connected it successfully, this will not work. You will, There will be no Stripe ID that populates here. Your customer's payment information will not be pulled in. So make sure if you haven't done so already, if this is a new Booking Koala account for you and you haven't yet connected Stripe, again, settings, general, apps integrations, scroll down, click on Stripe, put in those keys and you're good to go. So assuming that you've already done that, this should work. Go to your customers, click on that one just as a test. Go over to the profile tab here at the top. And then if we scroll down, you'll see some information that it pulled in successfully. Our little test location here for Chuck Norris uh, and then most importantly, the billing information. So you can see here, it pulled in that existing card that was connected to that customer. We don't know the card information, but we can see the last four here and that it pulled in successfully. So that if we go and add a new booking for this customer, let's just say this person's on a bi-weekly or something like that, we can go ahead and do add booking and then put them in, you can just search existing customers. In fact, let's do that here together. If I go to add booking, and then I click on existing customer, I should be able to type in, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you can see here, it has saved that payment information. So now we can go ahead and pick up with the bookings. If this person was on a bi-weekly or weekly cleaning, we can set that up and just select all the options that we need to select. Make sure the price- So there you go. It is really as simple as that. Now, simple, yes, tedious, Yes, very tedious, but as long as you have some help or as long as you have a couple hours a day or just power through it one night after work, just get through it, paste all those Stripe IDs in there, 
and then uh, upload that CSV file, match fields, import, and you should be good to go. This right here is going to make your migration process so much easier. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell below, so that you get notified whenever we release new training videos like this in the future, which we do have a lot more on the roadmap, so I highly recommend subscribing. Anyways, I hope you found value in this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.